take a look at this. I can't even believe that I'm holding a bunch of pies like this. Andrew has given Perdita a second round. Whoa! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog and welcome to the Reptarium. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I am actually draining some of Bowser's Pond today because it is mucky looking and I'm hoping I can speed up that bacterial plume. We also have to feed a lot of animals over at the Reptarium today. So for those of you that have been excited about how are they gonna feed these animals, you're about to find out. Andrea is getting ready for feeding day and really the thing about reptiles is that if they're feeding, that means that they're probably adjusting well. When they stop feeding is usually when they're a little stressed and they're still kind of adjusting. So we We've been feeding some stuff and it's been going really well, but today is the first big feed for the reptile zoo. So let's see how things eat. If they eat really well, that's gonna be a great sign. And by the way, we are open today. If you guys are watching, it's actually Wednesday for me, but Friday for you guys. We are open this weekend. So we're not gonna feed the animals that are gonna be out a lot because of course we don't wanna feed them and then have you guys handling them in a couple days. We're feeding those guys on Monday. So anyways, we're gonna feed everything else today and uh, hopefully it goes well. That was success. Eric is actually off the rest of the week because of some big event. What is it again? Oh, uh, like a bar mitzvah or a, I'm getting married. Oh my God, getting married. Wish Eric and Mary a happy nuptials for sure. And you're bringing your family Thank in you. today to see Yes, them. it's all Mary's family. Oh, so. Mary's family. Yep, 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 my family. Who and knows where right? I, 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 I hate to ask, but how do you get along with them? Dude, honestly, they're so cool. They're what? the coolest people. I was really surprised. I really wanted them to like me and stuff like that. They laugh at all my jokes. Mary's ex really paved the way, man. He was <laughs> he was a real doucher, so your boy Eric got in real easy. <laughs> paved the way. Right. All right, well, good. Well, have fun with the fam, all right? Thank you. Thanks for letting them come by. Next up is Perdita. Could tell she was ready to eat. So they said I wanted a zoo. That means that uh, every now and then you gotta get into precarious positions. There's no way to feed this girl except to go in the cage. Okay, hon. Huh? You gonna be nice to me? You gonna be nice? All right, there it is. Perfect. Oh my God. What do you think, Andrew? That's insane. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. This is awesome. Uh, same thing with Titan, but this time uh, he's up top, so it's going to be a little bit more tricky, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. Titan. Could be honest, he doesn't seem interested in food. He's more defensive. So I think I'm gonna just let him settle in a little bit longer rather than stressing him out. So Snaz looks really interested. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the rat in there. If I'm not mistaken, my friend Rhonda said oftentimes he would just crawl up and eat it. So I think Snaz is gonna eat. We'll come back and check on him in a bit. Andrew has given Perdita a second rest. Whoa, hello now. Whoa! And there you go. There you go, sweetheart. You ready for week two? Reptarium open. Oh, and by the way, we are open Saturday. We are going to the wedding. Some people were mad at me. Like, I can't believe you wouldn't go to the wedding. I, we're going to the wedding, but we are open Saturday, which is awesome. So if you guys want to come out, you'll see us. We'll be at a wedding, but please come out and visit us. Uh, we will be out Friday. Uh, movie night sold out, but we're going to do... Oh, I wanted to tell you. What do you think about... Did I tell you about the Irwin family thing? The Animal Plant show? No. Okay, so the Irwin family has a show on Animal Plant. I think it's like the middle of October, something like that. Premiere. We're going to do a premiere party here. Same thing, like 20 tickets only available. Pizza, everything like that. We can watch the Irwin family. What do you think? Why not? <laughs> so she's agreeing with me. This is this is basically what uh, I guess I've agreed to my life to being. But I may not be at all of these events. 
she probably won't be at any of these events. But, but anyway, so look out for that. All kinds of, you know, go to reptarium.com. Going to have all kinds of things. I want to do a, a Halloween costume party. I want to bring people that are afraid of snakes nights so that we can teach them how to do it. Uh, handling nights. Uh, bring your mom or spouse that doesn't want you to have a snake night. Oh, we're going to do a we're going to do a onesie night. We're going to do a onesie night. Oh no, I'm not coming. <laughs> so, I do not want to see that. So go to reptarium.com. You'll see all the events. Quick break from the feeding and reptarium stuff for this shipment of snakes that uh, I want to open with you guys, if you don't mind. And this is probably one of the last shipment of these that I'm gonna get for the year, so that's why I got them when they were available, because these are so popular that, uh, oh my God, they're absolutely incredible. I know that I'm gonna be sold out relatively soon, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I had more. So when I had these available from my buddy, I was like, I have to do it. And of course, that's piebald ball pythons. And that's right, that's a whole shipment of piebald ball pythons. We actually got 25 more pies in. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely beautiful. And of course, you know I'm always looking to see if there's a smile face this one really isn't a smiley face maybe more like a uh, cyclops type of face or something like that but wow is that thing high white and the thing that I love about pie ball and this is the source that I get all my pies from they produce a couple hundred a year and I usually buy about a hundred of them or so but look at the variability of them that's what's so amazing about pie balls again if you want a high white one you get a high white one if you like ones like I do where it's like almost 50 or 60 percent white and lots of pattern I think that's the most stunning and most shocking animal you can get that and sometimes it even ships me relatively low white ones right here you can see this one probably only has about 25 percent white predominantly cool pattern up front and then a couple white splotching on it i still think that's absolutely incredible and some of these monkeys are definitely fresh this one literally must have came out of the egg in the last couple days so we'll set these up let them shed get a couple meals into them and then we'll go ahead and put individual pictures on the website that way if you guys are interested in something you can pick the exact animal you want and take a look at how unusual this one is this is definitely a pretty high white one but the blotching on it is pretty much pattern which makes this one super cool. But the truth is, every single pied is cool in my eyes. And again, I've said this a million times every time I unpack these guys. If you have a hundred pie balls, each one of them is completely different. And this one here almost has a little jack o' lantern on it, but it's a little bit too attached. And you know, people ask me all the time, what's your favorite ball python morph? If you could only choose one thing, the truth is, I really would have a hard time choosing, but pieds probably would definitely be in the top two or three because I just think they're absolutely stunning. And here's another one that's trying to be a smiley face. It's so funny how many pies have smiley face on it. Oh, and look at this. It's almost a heart. I mean, how cool is that? Or maybe it's a donut. I don't know, whatever it is. Regardless, that's got some unique marking. Oh, and take a look at this one. This is absolutely really cool because it's got a head pattern, then it's got a white splotch, then it's got a pattern, then white splotch, then pattern, white splotch, all the way down. This is probably one of the most interesting pieds in the shipment. You don't typically see them with all of these patterns kind of blotching throughout the whole bottom. I mean, that is awesome. Then on the other spectrum, look at this. It hardly has any pattern at all. That is definitely a 90% white animal for sure. And finally, this one here, and I tell you what, this is so amazing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any more pies this year. Again, we're about done hatching, so we're not gonna hatch anymore. So this may be the absolute last ones, the last 25 of the year. If I have an opportunity to get any more, if he hatches some, I'm definitely gonna do it. But for now, this might be the last baby pie of the year. And it sure is a stunner. Oh my gosh. But the truth is, guys, all of these are amazing. I mean, just take a look at this. I can't even believe that I'm holding a bunch of pies like this. Again, way back when pies were first produced, they were $25,000. I mean, right now, I'd be holding like a half million dollars of snakes if these guys were still worth $25,000. But regardless, there is the unboxing for the day. Let's go ahead and get back over to the Reptarium. And like I mentioned, Snazzy here ain't no problem. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a second one. He might take it this way or we'll just have to lay it. I'm not sure. Again, we're just still trying to figure out this animal's behavior. Okay, we're gonna leave another one. It's a weird animal. <laughs> still, again, each animal has a different personality. Snazzy is definitely one of those ones that uh, just takes it right off the ground, which is completely fine. So I would say feeding went okay. I would say about 60% of the animals ate, which is about what I would expect. Remember, there's an adjustment period. These guys haven't had the commotion, bigger cages, all this stuff. And a lot of people sometimes think that a bigger cage is better, but it actually can cause a little stress for animals, at least in an adjustment period. So we have to just continue to work with them. I think the majority of the animals will get going in the next week or two, but if an animal just doesn't adjust well we'll have
have to pull it off and replace it with something else that eventually does. But in the end, it really was about what I expected. Jessica's over here kind of redoing some of the pond stuff, right? Or, yeah, I'm trying to. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see she tore down one of the dark parts. So basically what happened is what? We just didn't have the waterfall right, right? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is add some more of this stuff here, okay. which is false bottomed, and make it a little bit higher so the water can be all throughout the cage because we had originally tried to make like a reservoir and it didn't seal. So it just went everywhere. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, and basically what can happen is you can have water in the false bottom, but you don't want water in the actual substrate because that makes it go bad. So what we have to do is literally increase the false bottom a little bit. That way the water level can be as high as that false bottom and submerge the pump, the waterfall works. Then you have your bioactive soil on top of it. Make sense? Another thing I was able to do today is I finished out the rack here. So this rack is all built out here. It swoops around to this side, goes over to here, right to here. So tomorrow I can actually rock this out and make it look really nice. We'll do the same thing we've done with the rest of the place, but with this wall here. So that should finish out that. Then really the only last major job, of course, is going to be the alligator tank. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow I have my first private tour. So that's pretty awesome. Then we have some media stuff and so on like that. So uh, good day coming up tomorrow. With that said, guys, I am going to do one last thing for the night which is replace a few ballasts. We actually have three lights out. Yeah, like I don't have enough on my plan of building this out, doing all that type of stuff, working with animals, and I am an electrician. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the vlog here because it's boring watching me do electrical work, if you know what I mean. And I am gonna wish you guys an absolutely amazing day or night if you happen to be watching at night. Thank you as always for all your support. You guys mean the world to me and I truly do love you so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Smash that like button, turn the post notification on, leave a comment because I like reading about you guys. Be kind to somebody and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.